This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. The nation's longest winning streak on the line tonight in Lexington, the number one Kentucky Wildcats welcoming in the Commodores of Vanderbilt. Number one Kentucky hosting the Vanderbilt Commodores seeking its 18th straight win. Dominique Hawkins getting his second straight start, hits the three. Wildcats begin the game with a 7-0 run. More outside shooting. The freshman, Tyler Euless, the triple from the wing. Kentucky with an eight-point lead. Vanderbilt inbounding the ball. Passes overthrown. Dakari Johnson runs it down and throws it down. Wildcats by three. We saw him shoot. How about a nice little pass? Alley-oop style. Euless to Willie Cauley-Stein. High percentage shot. It will be tight down the stretch, but Kentucky wins it 65-57. Well, I thought Aaron in the second half was who he is. Um, Andrew, I thought, played well. But when you're platooning, you can't have three guys not bring it and play and finish plays and compete at a high level because then I got to get out of that, which is what I'd rather do, play 10 guys. But again, I thought Marcus Lee was good today. I thought he gave a great effort. It's back to the road again this weekend for Kentucky, who will again put its unbeaten record on the line. The Cats at South Carolina this Saturday, 12 noon start time on ESPN. The Gamecocks are 10 and 7 after losing tonight at home to Tennessee, but have registered home wins this season over Oklahoma State and Alabama. While Kentucky is number one in the NCAA Division I, there is a new number one in Division II. The Lincoln Memorial Rail Splitters are the new number one team in the latest NCAA Division II media poll. The Rail Splitters are a perfect 16-0 on the season and have the nation's longest winning streak. They will be on the road tomorrow at Mars Hill, trying to make it 17 in a row. In the latest NAIA Division I poll, the U Pike Bears move up one spot from number four to number three behind number one Campbellsville and number two Cal State San Marcos. The Georgetown Tigers are ranked 17th in the latest poll with Cumberland's up one spot to number 24. The Cumberland's women, as well as both union men and women, are receiving votes in their respective polls. Coming up, a top five matchup on the high school hardwood. Number two, Clay County visits John C. Combs Arena and number four, Perry Central. A mountain top five matchup between number two Clay County and number five Perry Central tonight. Perry Central head coach Shannon Hoskins, he once rocked a Clay County jersey in his playing days. He's all ready to go. First half, first quarter, Blake Smith, the drive in the bucket, Clay County by two. Second quarter, Damon Tobler, the pass out to Austin Neese, his only points of the game, but it puts Perry up four. All right, here's Trey Farmer. As always, a casual dribbler and then just going to fire from way downtown. Five three-pointers on the night for Farmer. Nothing casual about Braxton Beverly. Strong take goes left hand off the glass. He had 25 points back to Farmer. Beverly on him. Farmer, though, making his move, and he scores. Farmer led all scores with 28 points. U Pike top play contender under 25 seconds to go. Farmer turns the ball over. Tobler to James Blair. Back to Tobler, the alley-oop. Tobler goes for 16. Number four, Perry Central beats number two, Clay County, 76-73. Elijah Justice, his first season as head coach at June Buchanan, visiting the Hazard Bulldogs tonight. Justice has a kid who can ball. His name is Luka Stojevic. He's smooth, showing off the range from the left wing. That's good for three. A little bit later, the Serbian back in transition for the Crusaders. Another pull-up, Jay. This one from the foul line, it's also good. So the outside game is good. The mid-range game is good. How about the paint, the inside game? That's also good. Stojevic goes right to the rack this time, and he scores. The catch and shoot, that game well is also good for number two. Gets another three. But the Bulldogs fired back all night. Hunter Hardy, Slim Shady, the three ball is good. And then it's Hardy to the rack. 17 points for the senior Bulldog. Then how about this? Zach Fleming, top of the key. That's good. Nine points for him. Hazard still two games under 500, but it gets the win 59-51. Back out to Perry Central. The Lady Commodores hosting Johnson Central tonight prior to the boys game. Perry led 31-24 at the break. Second half off the miss. Jayla Spurlock up, puts it in, and she draws the foul. 19 in the game 
Lady Eagles second run, second half an 8-0 run to start. Later, Rachel Curry taking it to the taking it right to Spurlock. 28 for Curry. Perry by one. Still third quarter. Whitney Evans tries to throw a Hail Mary pass down court. It's saved by Spurlock. Perry turned the ball over 31 times on the game. The other end, Allie May knocking down the three ball. May with 12 in the game. Later this time, May comes up with another steal for Johnson Central and another conversion for the Lady Eagles at the other end for two. Fourth quarter, Perry Central now down eight. Caitlin Cornett, the up and under move for the Lady Commodore somehow scores, but Perry drops its third straight, 68-63. Cincinnati Bengal quarterback Andy Dalton has been named to the NFL Pro Bowl. Dalton replaces Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers, who will not participate because of an injury. This season, Dalton threw for just less than 3,400 yards with 19 touchdowns and 17 interceptions. He was also named to the Pro Bowl in 2011. And Erica Braxton Beverly, we saw him in the Perry Central highlights, scored his 2,000 point tonight. So congratulations to him. Well, okay, thank you, Josh. We'll be right back.